it is that your girl is recording. Excuse me. Now we can jump into this next damn reaction, shall we? Now, Patrick CC, shout outs to you. The Sketch Files. Of course, with everything it is that's been going on with Sketch as of recently, I, like, like I said, like, this, the stuff before it... Like if we're gonna sit there and make fun of somebody else's like sexual orientation, it's like why 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 do people care about another man's preference? Oh, like if you know what I'm saying, it's like, oh, someone is like he like a little you know what I'm saying, like a little peen. You know what I'm saying? Me too. You feel me? <laughs> so without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and let's jump into this next damn reaction, y'all. The biggest rising star in the live streaming world, Sketch, just set the internet on fire when some shocking information about his past came to light. It all started on Sunday night, July 7th, when a YouTube channel called Pocketbook uploaded a video called the Real Sketch, The Untold Story of Jamie Marr. The YouTuber revealed that in 2021, Kylie Cox, who we now know as Sketch, used to do homosexual X work on OF under the name Jamie Marr. Pocketbook claimed that they saw a comment on an Instagram post from King Hendrix, Sketch's favorite rapper, that encouraged people to Google Jamie Marr and that it was Sketch's NSFW alt account. From there, the YouTuber scrubbed the internet and found old Twitter pages pages and Reddit threads of Jamie Marr posting their content to advertise and gain subscribers to their OF account. I can't share this content to YouTube, but just for clarity purposes, the content consists of him performing X acts with men while often dressing in erotic women's clothing. This shocking news was then screenshotted from the YouTube video and shared to Twitter through the late hours of Sunday night and became trending Monday morning. As drama and news pages began sharing the information that Sketch was previously a homosexual OF creator, there was speculation as to whether or not it was real. Blackboy Max, a top 20 Twitch streamer and FaZe Clan member who was literally just hanging out with Sketch days before, was the first to react to the situation. They saying your man's a femboy. Okay, so if he a femboy, he's a femboy, nigga. Period. Uh, period. Cause I don't, I don't understand the why it is that like people would care that much uh, about with that okay so he did a little bit of of like with some men okay they not wrong with that like and, and especially with the year that we've had so far with 2024 where people are getting exposed for literally talking to to minors this this is nothing this is nothing okay so he goes you know what i'm saying if that's his preference that's what it is that he do there's plenty of content creators that have ofs okay Plenty of people, uh, plenty of people is that got OS. I'm not one of them, but you know what I mean? I'm not knocking anybody else that, is that do it. I, I, you know, but what's up, Darth? Darth, you know, but there's nothing wrong with this. And the fact that people made this a big deal and like he was getting like lost endeavors and sponsors because, because of that, like, are you kidding me? You're going to do this like a month after Pride Month? That's nasty work, bro. Like, bro, at the end of the day, people are who they are, bro. Like, if it came out, I'm gay, you wouldn't stop being my friend, right? I don't know if it's real, fake, I don't know nothing, you feel me? Don't come to me, I'm not a news all reporter. All i is, I've seen some crazy AI shit. Facts, bro, like, they literally made me and y'all, made me and you kiss. Facts. Like, bro, like, you don't know. In the day and age of insanely accurate AI and deepfake technology, many people like Max thought this was all fake, nothing more than the work of a master troll. Yet still, tweets like this were blowing up. Man who got sketch tattoo back in March of this year tells me, I regret getting this tattoo. I look forward to getting it covered. Sneeko also chimed in on the situation with this tweet. Now there were people showing support and giving sketch the benefit of the doubt. Whether sketch is gay, bi, or straight, why the f do you care what another man does? Okay, exactly. for someone who made a, 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 a bunch of you guys laugh and have a good time, for you to go, oh, he's gay now, f him. That's really f up. Steve will do it. Also tweeted, "F anyone hating on Sketch. I love him to death forever and always." And then someone replied, "That is fake. Sketch ain't gay." Steve said, "Who the f cares? Either way, that's his business." Period. Faze Rug said, "Sketch is one of the nicest, most genuine dudes I've ever met, and nothing changes that. The internet is so harsh and can put people in a dark place. Exactly. Just remember, he's human like everyone else too." Exactly. Popular streamer Valkyrie said, "Nothing but love and support for Sketch. One of the nicest humans I've met." Then popular streamer Duke Dennis 
address the situation and he was being seen as the voice of reason. To be honest, bro, I don't give a f Y'all shouldn't give a f If that's not what you into, then that's, it shouldn't even be that big of a deal. Exactly. You know, so I, I think y'all, I think y'all dragging it. And that's even assuming if it's real. If it's real, cool. If it's not, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he grown. He can do whatever he want to do. I don't know why y'all do f so, so much. And you know, motherfucker change, bro. That's the past. Why y'all bringing up old shit? Exactly. <laughs> whatever his sexual preference is, that don't take away the fact that he's a great f guy. I met him. I've been with him. I've been around him. I've been hanging with him. I've been chilling with him. He's a great f guy. He's a genuine guy. He's a sweet God. At the time the news broke, Sketch was in Los Angeles for a couple weeks while collaborating with various FaZe Clan members. We know this because of this tweet by FaZe Banks how Sketch initially reacted to the leaks. Not everything needs to be broadcasted and farmed, but since y'all want to jump to crazy assumptions, Sketch told me to post these receipts. All the FaZe boys were with him last night. Sketch was my homie yesterday, he's my homie today, he'll be my homie tomorrow. You guys are weirdos. The text Period. message starts with Banks asking Sketch, you awake? I'm sorry bro, I didn't mean to involve y'all. Bro, what do you mean you're our boy? You didn't have to dip. You didn't involve us in anything, bro. You good? I'm over by airport. I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry. Come back. You're good, dude. The boys pulled up on me and woke me up. They wanted to make sure you were good. You're good, bro. Come back. We're all here. You're the homie. I'll come now, I just need someone to talk to. We're all posted, come back. You need me to call a car? On the way. Banks also shared a photo of Sketch coming back to the FaZe house at 11 p.m., as well as the sneakers and glasses Sketch is always wearing. But Banks' tweet made this story even more viral, because Sketch didn't outright deny the leaks and texted Banks, I didn't mean to involve you, and I'm so sorry. People took that as an admission of the leaks being real. Yet before mass speculation would outpour, Sketch decided to nip things in the bud and admit that it Oh, Darth Call, thank you so much for that 200 bitties. I appreciate you. Thank you. It was all real in a live stream where 70,000 people tuned in to watch. 70,000? God damn, where were we all before? Elephant in the room, I got a haircut. Okay, I'll start from the top. Look at this, open and honest. That was me. That was me. It's okay, though. I will tell you what. Okay, two years ago, I did some stuff. I'm sorry if you've seen some of the stuff. You know, I'm a changed person. So two years ago, I did not have sexual relations with that man. I'm just kidding. I did. <laughs> Yo, while we was reacting to, like, Sketch saying this, Sketch is hilarious. He do seem like a very cool guy to, like, hang out with and be around. So, you know, and even something like, something like this, I would probably do the same thing, too, of, like, make jokes and, you know what I mean, and something, like... He seems cool. He seems cool. He seems very genuine. Like, like I said, I, I, you got my support, Sketch. Like, whatever it is that's your preference at the end of the day is what your preference is. If you like the same thing it is that I like. It ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? We both content creators. You know what I'm saying? You made a really big impact. You got people around you that support you. And that go rock with you regardless. Hey, cool in my book, bro. Possibly. <sighs> Catch out of bag. It's okay. Um, what else do I have to say? I don't know. Thank you to all my people that have been sticking up for me. I understand if you're bad. Okay, I was dealing with some addiction problems. A couple of them. But, no excuse there. Uh, wait, I guess. Yeah, that was me. Um, I f***ed up. I won't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, well, I am dead serious about not doing it again. That was a dark time. Rough, rough time. You know, I, I'm owning up to it. But on a real note, I've been living under the threat of that coming out for like two years. Mm. Started social media, just kind of around, had that in my past. I'll tell you what, weight lifted off my shoulders. God is good. God is good. All the time. All the time. And I have a lot of people to credit for. I'll be honest. Plan A was, and I will say candidly, was to probably eat a, eat up, well, probably to call it quits if this ever came out. But some people saved me. Shout out Banks. 
shout out my parents like shout out y'all like I fucked up but I'm changed it's not good sketch um yeah I did, that's about it though like my my original plan was there's two things one either be delusional and think it's never gonna come out or two what's the plan after the plan after was not very good if I was alone and I was at my house I probably wouldn't be talking to you right now mm. but the people at phase banks especially um, and my friends that I've made over the past couple years came in and they saved me I don't know what I was going to do. But. The key points that people highlighted from his response was that he said this was a couple years ago and he has changed. He is now a follower of Jesus. He said he was in a dark place at the time and did this to feed multiple addictions he was suffering from. In his response, he That's is right, ashamed, man. embarrassed, and has actively tried to make positive changes in his life because he is not proud of this moment. And ultimately, if it wasn't for his friends like Faze Banks, he would have called it quits. Now that the whole story was confirmed to be true, a chaotic firestorm of hate, memes, and sympathy erupted online. Antonio Brown tweeted the photo of Sketch's shoes, but photoshopped a specific kind of toy next to them with the caption, The Sketch Starter Pack. Popular Twitch streamer Bruce Drop Em Off also tweeted a photo of his own shoes and sunglasses with the caption, Okay, I give up. talked about this with with um with bruce quite a bit on some of the antics it is that he does the things it is i just can't respect on like i i just at this rate it's like it's it's, it's getting really corny um to how it is that he acts and what it is that he does to like the people that's around him and all that like this i'm just not i'm just not impressed with dude no more you know I'm just and just not you had it's like you had even Twitch supporting you and everything like that and then you started go ahead and just dropping all different types of slurs and just started crashing out bro and his ego is such a big thing when it comes down to when you finally are that like that person it is that never had that popularity and stuff like that and then you finally get it and you and it's in the wrong hands. And it's you get people like this. So I'm just not too I'm kinda cool on dude. Look at how dirty these shoes are, chat. But oh my fing god. So how many back shots he took in these? Be honest. How many bodies did these shoes see? Oh my god. Bruce did not shot. Just when it is I said the nigga to be corny. Like, that's the first thing it is that come out your mouth. Yo, that's a Jedi Knight. Thank you so much for the 200 biddies. I appreciate you. I away from trolling sketch. Hey, kids, tell your little kids and cousins stop doing this. Shit. Tell them that that they got a whole different meaning to it, twin. No, that's a whole crazy. different meaning to it. That, it's in my ass, brother. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's actually not funny. That's actually not funny. And you're going ahead of you trolling dudes like this, bro? Like, uh uh. It's the shit I'm talking about, y'all. But he was constantly going back and forth between trolling and being serious. When that's when I seen this, I'm like, bro, okay, he got lip fillers. Who, who cares? Like, if he's gay, who gives a fuck, man? Who cares? It's not about you being gay. It's not about you being gay, gang. It's about you not telling nobody <laughs> and hiding it. And why do you? This is where it is. You're gonna piss me off because. As somebody, it is that one is a part of the LGBTQ community, and I stand by everybody it is that want to live in their truth, whatever it is that they may be. You don't even have to be a part of the LGBTQ community. You can just be, you know, heterosexual and be like, okay, this is what I want to, this is what I want to be. This is what I want to live in. This is, this is making a decision within your life. But this is the reason to why it is that people do not want to come out and let people know to of what it is that they like because of shit like that. Of uh, why is it our business to go ahead and make somebody come out and be like, oh, I'm this, 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 and this. People come out when it is that they're ready, when they feel like they have the opportunity to do so. Or like people don't have that 
support within their own families to say that openly of like, yes, this is what it is that I like without somebody being overly religious or like, oh, well, I, I can't support what it is that you do. There's family members that's cut off of, cut off people because of stuff like that. There's people that just get harmed. Like people within the LGBTQ community are more likely to get harmed than just a regular heterosexual person. And double the double entendre when it isn't they're black. So the fact that why do why does it like he has to go out and be like, oh, it, you was hiding it, this, 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 and this. That man's gonna come out when it is that he wants to, Bruce. Fuck. Why is that your why is that our business? Jesus Christ. Coming a whole different alias. Like you're a new person. That's not cool. You got the nerve to talk when it is like, wasn't you just like a nerd when it is before you got famous and now now look at you, a dickhead. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh, bro. Sneeko also expressed similar sentiments. Yo, know, just the craziest thing about Sketch is I'm seeing everyone's like, Sketch is one of the most genuine dudes ever. He's genuinely, I don't know why it's the new Twitch word. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. Nigga, no, he wasn't. No, he- What? What the fuck did you just say? What did, what did you just say? Did you just, did you just, first, of, first, first and foremost, nigga, that's not your word. Twitch word. He's genuinely one of the most genuine guys ever. Nigga, no, he wasn't. I ought to push the clot. You are not supposed to be saying that word. First and foremost. And then I have another word it is that's for, that's for you that starts with a C. But it's not, it's not, a, it's not a slur. It's something that he actually, he actually prefers when it was like, you know, he, he likes watching that type of uh, type of thing, if you will. But the fact that it's just like, Sneeko, this is why it is niggas ain't fuck with you neither. Get up out of here. No, he's not. He lied to you about his life. You're acting like it was like a long, two years ago, he was taking. But you be lying about your shit as well. You be trying to act like it is like you big and bad and stuff like that. And this is why it is that top streamers really don't want to be fucking with you like that. Out publicly. Wasn't you acting like a fucking sourpuss when it is that like Speed and Kai walked right past you and didn't even look you in the eye? Just be like, dang, man. Like, I don't know. Like, people just like, hey, I guess it is like I'm a total problem or something like that. Yeah, you are. Gang, Taking it up the what are we talking about? And getting paid for it on OnlyFans. One of the most genuine guys that he would have been straight up about his life. What a crazy thing to keep. When are you going to be straight up about yours? Secret. It was in the, it was two years ago. Now, holding people accountable for their past can be important if they harmed or hurt others or did something illegal. As far as what we know right now, everything that Kylie Cox was doing was legal and consensual. But the argument for people who are against Sketch seems to be that he is fake or somehow disingenuous because he did not disclose his past life to the world. It's interesting that when you're too gay publicly, homophobic people will say that you don't need to make being gay your whole personality. Mm -hmm. But then when you don't tell the world that you're gay, it's you're like somehow you're untrustworthy worthy or shady for hiding your sexuality. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's also ironic for a community of people who love sus humor and love making gay jokes to get so worked up when they find out that someone is or was previously gay. Go ahead, take the screenshot. Take the, take the, take the, take the screenshot because this is why it is I be confused on why you go ahead and have the most opinions. Both Sonico and Bruce be saying sus shit all the time or be doing something that is that sus. But somehow or another, it is like, you gonna sit there and make fun of somebody because it is that they're gay and talking about some, oh, it is like, oh, you're hiding it, this, this, and this. No, you need to live in your truth. <laughs> live in your truth as of right now. Look at how it is that you look as of right now with that in your mouth. Cut it out. It's like they're saying, oh, gay, is, they're saying, oh, gay is bad, but look at what Drake or about the disrespect of what they did and they wasn't yeah, exactly all right whatever it is that you do don't go on insta people saying it's hack oh this is the wrong timing people will claim that they don't care if someone is gay but wait who's who's hacked who's hacked like ig hacked me hacked like what, what's happening? But then come up with all these rules and regulations as to what level of gay is okay for the rest of society. Yo, the thing about it is, bro, oh, sketch, I don't, we don't give a f okay. what you doing. But we don't care who you fing, bro. That shit don't matter to us. I just don't want to see that shit continuously popping up on my camera. Don't start no only 
nigga, because then I'm going to have to really mute and block your name everywhere. So then they argue that it's not what? about him being gay, but it's about him making OF content, implying that X work is destructive and degenerative to kids. Well, then those people would have to keep the same energy towards the millions of female creators that do it, and the rappers that promote the same promiscuous, drug-induced, degenerate lifestyle. He did got kids that watch you, My little brother watch you, bro. And I'm not allowing him to watch you no more because you're just trying to cover this shit up like it's okay so if you want you don't want his brother watching watching him anymore then okay one last person over the other millions it is that's what that watches sketch but there's plenty of goofy ass baby ass fucking kids that be watching you bruce and you say the most outlandish things you say the most diabolical things and it, and a lot of times it is like you be promoting a lot of <laughs> cyberbullying harassment to people and, and the fact that is you be even doing your own friends dirty look at how it is you did kai look at how it is you did um um josh like what are we talking about you did your own friends dirty that they don't rock with you no more but you're worried about sketch oh i'm not letting my little brother watch him no more this is in this okay fucking boohoo <laughs> what are we talking about here you're the main person in this that be perpetuating all of this crazy stuff. That's why it is you got your alt account got banned. That's why it is you can't stream on that main account because if you stream on that, then your your main shit will get banned on Twitch. The fact that like you have a lot of mouth, but a lot of things that is that you say is just not helping your case. Golly. It's okay for you to be gay. Nobody cares, bro. But all that sex shit, I know that's gonna become a troll because y'all niggas troll about the P. Diddy shit, all that shit. I don't give a f Y'all niggas don't take shit like this serious with kids. Don't try to speed up. Sorry, y'all. I don't know what's going on, but something's getting burnt. Up other niggas' lives and say, oh, yeah, it's okay. Oh, pat on the back. You're taking for money, bro. That's never okay. You're selling your body. Sorry, y'all. Fire alarm was going on in my building. I was just like, what the fuck is that smell? I don't know what it is. But, you know, let's, let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. Hey, that's not cool. I'm sorry, bro. So he gets a kid audience by being a f autistic retard, getting the iPad kids who are already retarded from now, making fun of somebody it is that's autistic is actually really terrible. That's it's, that's really, really fucked. Wow. Then this is another. This is another one. This is why it is that you're not like Sneeko. That's that's low. That's extremely low to talk about somebody it's conditioned like that. And even if it is that he's autistic, who who cares? At the end of the day, he's still able to do the same things it is that we're all doing. So the fact that, like, you even talked about it like that, like, oh, that just makes me, ugh, I'm just disgusted by him. Oh, I'm just disgusted from all by all the social man. media they look at all day long. And then, now they're exposed to what he, oh, what, they, every day they want to go, what's up, brother? And they see the guy that they look up to. What's up, brothering right up that hole? Sneeko and Bruce seem to have their timelines mixed up. Sketch has never promoted or used his platform to promote X work. He never exactly. wanted anyone to know about his previous life because even he was not proud of it. He was ashamed of it and is remorseful. And he made the necessary changes in his life before anyone knew who he was. Ironically, you would think that these people would be celebrating Sketch. You would think that they would use Sketch's transformation as proof that you can escape what they did 
deem as a degenerate lifestyle and mm -hmm. turn your life around for the better. Mm -hmm. That was the sentiment expressed by popular YouTuber Brett Cooper. His prayer was answered. He now has this incredible community that was able to be there for him at the lowest of lows. It's incredible. People change and people are allowed to change. That is healthy. That is a good thing. And a exactly. person's past choices do not necessarily dictate who they are today and what they believe or value, even an XOF creator. And we should be celebrating people for overcoming adversity and overcoming challenges and leaving unhealthy situations, which is OF creation, and for taking responsibility for their life choices, which is so important and healthy for everyone. And it is exactly. shocking to me that the internet has been able to turn that into a bad thing. I mean, if all we do is sit around and rage and bash people for their choices and offer no empathy, understanding, and no grace when they change, like what kind of humans are we? Then Sketches Opposers brought up that he is pretending to have a disability ability as a way to prove he has a pattern oh, of lying. See, this is where it is that you are losing me. This is where it is that you're losing me. It's, this is where y'all losing me. Because I, I hear people, I've seen people it is that have said in the lines of like, because autism, lupus, and all that, it's still, it's in the, the acronym of, of having a disability. So I've even he seen people say it is of myself of like, oh, there's, all right, the mermaid is faking having lupus and to get sympathy and stuff like that. First and foremost, I can't control the shit that, is that goes on within my body. Having lupus is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to deal with within my life. You know what I mean? But I still go ahead and I do what it is that I do today. Sketch being autistic, does, and he's still able to do the things it is that he does. And look at the level of the community it is that he has, the, the sponsors, endorsements. I mean, he was just on Fortnite commercial with, with agent it's like the fact that y'all say y'all say the most cringe diabolical fucked up things about people and i would just never understand why and like one thing it is that i will never respect is people going ahead and saying it is they're faking something it is that they are diagnosed with as like that's that's crazy that's crazy to me. or deceiving people the kids that he brought in at his audience Pretending to be a retard. He, okay, first off, he's pretending to be a retard. Pretending to not be gay. He has a kid audience because he. This is sketch content. I, I genuinely have never watched it. I see clips. Hey, what's up? Like, tweak it out. Like, this is sketch. Hey, are we lying? Wow. Nigga does not have a disability. He is not. I need you to stop saying nigga before it is I tweak the fuck out. For one. Second, I just, just, just like, what are, get out my face. Get out my face. He's not straight. He's definitely not retarded. You know that. I know that. Everyone watching knows that. Now this, as well as Sketch's entire background, was discussed in my Curious Case video. But to reiterate, Sketch never claimed to have any type of disability. And when he was asked if he did, he rejected it. What is it? Is it so, uh, uh, have you been, like, do you have a condition? No, I don't have no. Any, con any condition. No, like I'm just like, just kind of. Yeah. So when people throw labels and names out there, it's kind of just like going, you know, I didn't put a label on it. I'm just having fun with it and like, yeah. you know, okay. the, so that's, you the know, hand movements and motions and stuff like that. That's like just me getting energy out type. Like, yeah. I mean, there's cameras on you. Like, I'm not used to the. Well, what did you call it earlier? You said it's, you have a tick. Well, like I used to like my but my my good friends and family like no i do stuff with my fingers when i get excited so like it's like yeah. unless i when i'm when i'm alone like i'll be ripping it you know what i mean like yeah. <laughs> but um yeah so like it's like not like tourettes or anything like it's literally just like you know when i when i get excited or whatever I like I yeah do it. my hands are like touching back my head type. But like, so so not so it's just like a general like sort of anxiousness oh yeah like i'm very anxious generally him faking autism was just a narrative that spread across the internet when in reality it seems like he just has social anxiety which is normal however okay. it's no secret that sketch is and has always been playing a character his character just happens to be more obvious than most because everyone on the internet is not being their 100 percent full authentic selves otherwise they wouldn't be entertaining you think kai sanat screams and yells at everything Thing that's moderately interesting when the cameras are off? No. The YouTuber Pocketbook that originally exposed this information apologized to Sketch on his community tab but then deleted it. He made another post oh, that no read, post Sketch, I'm thankful you're still with us. Now his bio says, hashtag I stand with Sketch. And he made a new community post that reads, look at yourself, you're Pocketbook too. You defend Sketch, then spew homophobia at me. You say sharing Sketch and Jamie's post is wrong, then dot
shocks me. You say, ending is serious, then tell me to end. You call me a clout chaser, then rush to make content about me. You say I want attention, but beg for me to notice your comments. You call me a nobody, but obsess over my every move. You demand apologies, then reject them. You tell me to delete my stuff, but can't leave on your own. I came with curiosity and objectivity. You replied with hate and self-righteousness. You and I, we are pocketbook. Pocketbook also removed all the comments from their page. And while Pocketbook is trying to look at this philosophically as some sort of attack on his journalism, people are just letting him know that his video was cheap sensationalism. Even though this situation was blown entirely out of proportion, the overwhelming majority of people were showing sketch love. Absolutely. Like, no matter what happened in the past, no matter what, no matter what happens in the future, like he's still a genuine good ass dude. Of course. No matter what. It's sad that, that, it's sad that, that even needs to be said yeah. out loud. I'm rocking behind sketch. Y'all yeah, not about to bully my homie. That he came, I came clean with whatever he he do. You know what I'm saying? That's his sexual purpose. I don't judge nobody. Sketch. Sketch was my friend a week ago. Sketch is my friend today, and Sketch will be my friend tomorrow. And I love Sketch. I support him a hundred percent, no matter what it is. What is the problem? You know. Kai Sinat and XQC probably had the most normal reactions to this situation as they expressed what 99% of people were thinking. And that's what everybody gonna say, but it's like, my nigga, I genuinely don't, I don't, like, it doesn't bother me. It's, I don't care, bro. So why do you, you act like you care when somebody being gay or somebody kissing a dude or somebody gambling or somebody being trans, protect my children. If you cared about protecting children, you wouldn't do 80% of the sh you do on a daily basis on your stream. You don't care. And that's fine. I don't care either. Just stop pretending. A lot of people on the internet are choosing a side for or against Sketch when in reality they both feel exactly the same deep down. Majority of people don't care about somebody else's sexuality. And if you truly do, you truly care about Sketch's sexual preference, a grown man that you have never met in your life and you will never meet in your life, and it is genuinely affecting you, sounds like you have a problem. Correct. The Sketch that the internet has come to love today is a positive guy who makes silly content that actually uplifts others. Whatever he does in his private life is none of our business. Exactly. And anyone with a morsel of empathy can see how this kid was just going through a dark time, got himself out of it, and successfully made the positive change in his life that he wanted. Exactly. And I hope he comes back to the internet at being the funny and goofy content creator he was before. Absolutely. Absolutely. I am glad it is that, you know, that he had that level of support. And the Sketch got my support too. He seems like a cool guy. He seems like a genuine guy. You know, and the Bru Bruce and Sneeko, y'all, um, <laughs> both of y'all can go at this rate. But Patrick CC, shout outs to you. Thank you so much for the video. Shout outs to y'all in the chat. Shout outs to you at home. And I will catch y'all in the next video.